Hello, my name is Rachel Karasik and I am a Community Education Specialist in the Leishman Center for Culinary Health at Northwestern Medicine Kishwaukee Hospital. And I'm Michelle Abrams. I'm a nurse in the Community Affairs Department at Northwestern Medicine. And today we are going to create for you a really delicious, heart-healthy, one-pan dinner. This is salmon with sweet potatoes and broccoli and it has a really nice Dijon mustard and maple glaze. So a benefit to making this is it's a one pan meal, very little equipment, very few ingredients, very, very simple. So we're gonna start off by lining a cookie, sh a sheet tray or a cookie pan with parchment paper. And we're just gonna set that to the side. And the very first thing we wanna do is we wanna roast our vegetables. So today we're using sweet potatoes and broccoli. A red potato would work great, a Yukon gold potato, and then broccoli, um, is usually can find it most of the time in the grocery store year round. But if it is fall and you find lovely Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts would work really nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. So well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up a sweet potato. So Michelle, do you like sweet potatoes for heart health? I do love sweet potatoes for heart health. So full of fiber, um, a natural source of sugar and bonus points because we're gonna use the skins today, uh, which ups that fiber just a little bit more. Perfect. So to cut the sweet potato, this can be awkward because it rolls. And so anything that rolls, we're a little hesitant about cutting. So the very first thing that I like to do is just kind of look at the ends. And if there's anything kind of rough or dry, I cut those off. Now that we have more of a stable base, I'm going to cut my sweet potato in half. And now we have a nice flat base to cut. We are not worried about the sweet potato rolling. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is simply cut these into strips. So for this recipe, ideally we would have one inch cubes. The truth of the matter is this is real life. We're home cooks. It's not always gonna be perfect. So try your best, but just try your best to get them all the same size. If they're really small, they may cook quicker. And if they're larger, then you may need a little bit more time in the oven. So I'm just placing my hand on the top of my knife. So I'm making strips first. Now, some of these strips are gonna look a little wide. So what I wanna do is cut those down a little bit. All right, now we just take a few strips at a time and we're gonna cut those into cubes. So as I said before, if you have a red potato or you have maybe even fingerling potatoes, Yukon potatoes, you can use those as well. But I really like this sweet potato with the broccoli. It's a really nice combination. All right, so we have our broccoli. So when choosing broccoli in the store, you wanna make sure that we have really nice tight heads, not a lot of browning. All right, so now I'm gonna just kind of cut off where the stem of the broccoli meets the little florets. And then I'm just gonna cut each floret in half. I want it to be similar in size to what the cube of my sweet potato is. So if you have a really large floret, cut that a few times. And then I work with broccoli from the bottom up. So I kind of look at where they all connect and just break it down. And so, like I said, ideally these are gonna be the same size. So now it's baking time. We're gonna get our vegetables in the oven, but before we do that, we wanna make sure to preheat our oven to 425 degrees. And now we're gonna take our parchment lined sheet tray and we're gonna put our cubed sweet potatoes and broccoli right on the sheet tray. And we're gonna to toss it with olive oil. So do you do you like olive oil for heart health? Is that the preferred yes, cooking fat? Yes, absolutely. So olive oil is one of our good fats or um, monounsaturated fats. So this recipe calls for one to two tablespoons. I usually start with about one and a half 
and then take your hands, your clean hands, and very gently toss it all together. We want to make sure that everything has a light coating of olive oil that's going to protect the produce while in a hot 425 degree oven. But if we see pools of oil on the pan, then that's, that's going to be too much. All right, so everything's lightly coated in oil. So you re may remember that I mentioned cutting everything the same size. Why we do that is so everything turns out at about the same time. So if that isn't the case, because this is real life and you have a larger floret of broccoli, what I want you to do is put the larger florets of broccoli around the edges of the pan. The edges get a little bit warmer and then anything a little bit smaller can go in the center because it's not going to cook quite as much in the center of the pan. So now we're gonna put this into our preheated oven for about 20 minutes until things are starting to look just a little golden brown. We're starting to get a little bit of caramelization and they also start to become fork tender. All right, so while our vegetables are cooking in the oven, we're gonna make a glaze for our salmon. So this is probably the simplest glaze that you're gonna make. We're gonna take a little bowl and then we're just gonna mix two tablespoons of Dijon mustard with two tablespoons of maple syrup and a little black pepper. If you wanted to use honey instead of maple syrup, you absolutely could. That's a nice um, sub in for this recipe, but maple syrup is a little bit more of a mild flavor. So we love using maple, but if you have honey at home, that works too. And then next we're gonna use Dijon mustard. So if you only have yellow mustard, you could use that. We like the zip that Dijon gives us. So two tablespoons of that. A little bit of black pepper. And then we're gonna give it a nice stir. So pretty easy, so easy. And so this is a little sweet, it has a little zip with the mustard, and it's just a really nice combination with the fish, and then also the sweet potatoes and our broccoli. So we're gonna stir it until it's well combined. So the timer just went off for our vegetables, so let's get those out and see what they look like. So what we have here is our broccoli. You can see the edges, they're starting to caramelize. Our sweet potatoes are becoming for close to fork tender. And so now we are, just wanna nestle our salmon right into this tray. It's just one sheet tray. So this recipe calls for four salmon fillets. Feel free to adapt this recipe. Just use one head of broccoli and one sweet potato and just use two fillets of salmon. So, Salmon we hear a lot about with heart health. Absolutely. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about why we like it so much? Yes. So salmon um, is one of our good sources of fat. It's rich in omega-3s. Omega-3s are an essential fat, which means our body doesn't make that on its own. We have to get it through our diet. Nice. Perfect. So this is the perfect heart healthy dinner right here. We have some vegetables. We yes, have our fiber. So I'm going to move my vegetables and just make some little nests throughout the pan, ideally close to the center of the pan. Now we're going to take one filet at a time and skin side down, we're just gonna nestle it right into our veg. Now we're just going to glaze our salmon with our maple syrup, our black pepper, and Dijon mustard sauce. 
And so this gives it a ton of flavor. If you have leftovers, say you decide to make this recipe and you only use two fillets of salmon, what's nice is you can make this whole glaze recipe still and use it over your potatoes and your broccoli. So now we're going to return this to the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, still at that 425 degree temperature. And when cooking fish, one important thing to note is that usually we can determine how long it needs to cook based on how thick it is. So the rule of thumb when cooking fish is about 10 minutes for every inch of thickness. So these all look about an inch thick. So we're gonna go with 10 minutes. We can always add more time, but we can't always take that time away. So we're gonna put these back in the oven and we'll set our timer for about 10 minutes and we'll check them. All right, our timer just went off. It's been 10 minutes. And so we're gonna take out our fish and our sweet potatoes and broccoli and see what they look like. Beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make sure that the fish is done cooking. So you could take the internal temperature, make sure that it did reach 145 degrees Fahrenheit, or we can just lightly flake it and make sure that it's all the same color all the way throughout the fish. And it is beautiful. And you wanna make sure that it flakes. You wanna make sure it's nice and flaky. And once again, we have that same color running through the fish. Now, we also wanna make sure that our vegetables are fork tender, and they are. And you'll see our broccoli has a little bit of crisp on the edges. Beautiful. How easy was that? Very easy. Very easy. It looks phenomenal. So we're gonna take a piece of fish. Thank you. We can have some vegetables with that. And if the vegetables get some of that glaze, lovely. And that is our one pan salmon, sweet potatoes, and broccoli dish. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this video.